Hello everyone, I guess you know, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with a Harpy Bug Swarm Slayer Guide for Old School RuneScape in my endless adventure to make as many Slayer Guides and just guides as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoy, if you do, make sure to leave a like, and on top of that, if you want to check me out at any other places, there are plenty of links to do that down below, and I'd appreciate it greatly. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start, should you kill Harpy Bug Swarms? In my opinion, you should. They're a quick task, so, I mean, early on, as long as you're not getting tasks that you're just going to be stuck on and not hitting very well, then you'll be okay. That's definitely worth doing. Beyond that, they're decent XP as well. They don't have a ton of HP, but they have low defense, so that's the upside of it. For the requirements, you will need a lit bug lantern. To get this, you'll need 33 fire making and use a tinderbox on an unlit bug lantern. Then beyond that, you will need 33 slayer as well to kill them in the first place. Harpy bug swarms are weak to everything, so you can use what you'd like. In this video, I'll be talking about melee and range, since those are the two best methods of combat, in my opinion. Of course, magic has its spots, but for general slayer purposes, that's going to be the best. Harpy bug swarms have a melee attack style, and their max hit is a six, so not too high, but higher than most people would think, just kind of casually looking at harpy bug swarms. For the melee options here, down below we have three different gear setups you can dig deeper into them if you'd like all of it is listed there on the left hand side a lower level setup if you don't have rune for some reason you could downgrade to adamant or mithril or whatever you have that is perfectly fine beyond that the far right hand side more of a med to high level setup and if you have anything higher than that you probably know what to bring but these are three really good low to med level setups that you can bring on top of that some added weapon options if you want to mix in something else as i mentioned earlier they're weak to everything so you can bring whatever you'd like in terms of a melee weapon if you want to range here are two setups that you could go with as well on the left hand side a low level setup with snake skin but you could replace it with green blue red black dehyde whatever you have in terms of dehyde then on the right hand side a little bit more expensive more of a med to high level setup but just a good example of what you could get if you already had maybe 70 range and a good amount of money and then some added crossbow options if you were going to opt for these it really just depends i guess on your account build and what all you have at your disposal if you're not going to use darts this works perfectly perfectly fine as well. Harpy bug swarms are located on the northern Karamja coast of the southern part of the island. The best option to get there is going to be the Thai Boy One Eye Teleport. You can purchase these from the Grand Exchange. They're a little pricey, but they do get you insanely close, so very nice if you have them. Second best option is the House Teleport. You can either use this with your house located in Brimhaven, or you can use a scroll of redirection on a house tab and then redirect it to Brimhaven. One way or the other, that's the second best teleport. Third is going to be the Charter Ship. You can use the Ardoin Charter for 30 G gp and just travel on over here and then from there you'll have to run to the southeast a good bit and then finally an amulet of glory teleport that you could get if you just purchased an amulet of glory from the grand exchange and teleported to karamja a little bit of a hike from there but definitely an option so you're going to want to find your way to the bug swarms one way or another personally chose the tie boy one eye teleport and once you're here i mean they're pretty low level there's not too much you have to worry about again their max hit is a six so a little dangerous in that regard but nothing too bad 25 hp total so the kills will be pretty quick and this isn't multi or anything so nothing you can really do in that regard I, I guess in theory you could bring a cannon if you'd like however this is a pretty low level task so I'd imagine most people aren't going to be going about that route but if you have it feel free I also have some super potions here that you could go ahead and use if you're ranging of course then just bring a ranging potion instead just a nice little boost to your DPS that can help out a good bit and if you're ranging and want to go ahead and use a safe spot, then you could use this little plant down here to just stand behind and range from there. So if you're going to be ranging, nice little way to go about it so that you don't have to take any damage. But that is going to be it for this guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to see from me, would love to hear in a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace. Also streaming right after this goes live.